Hey everyone, so I wanted to do a quick application and review video for the Misha M Perfect Cover BB Cream. BB Cream also stands for Blemish Balm Cream. It's very popular over in Korea and Asia, and it has been becoming more and more popular over here in the States. I believe Sephora actually carries Dr. Jart BB Cream. I have not tried that one yet, but if you've tried it out, let me know what you think of it. This, for BB cream, I find that this one has pretty decent coverage, which is why I really, really like it. I received this tiny little sample from a friend a long time ago, and a little goes a long way that this lasted me a really long time. Like, I almost want to stay at, say at least a year or even over a year, which is hard to believe, but I literally would use like a tiny size on my finger and then just dot it around the center part of my face and then blend it outwards and it was like, it's perfect. I really loved how it looked on my skin. At first you'll notice that it does have a slight bit of a grayish like cast to it. It's a very grayish like neutral color and it's not something that you would think would match your skin tone. And initially it doesn't, but over time it oxidizes and like just kind of blends into your skin. This one actually has four different shades. I believe it has 13, 21, 23, and 31. I have the one in 23, which is in natural beige. So unfortunately, they don't have that like wide of a range of shades, but at least they have that number 31, which I believe um, suits like MAC NC 40s and up pretty well. I don't know, if I, feel, I believe if you're really dark though, it could look ashy on your skin. For reference, I'm around like NC2730 and the number 23 is just a little bit light on me but throughout the day it oxidizes and looks pretty nice. It like neutralizes the yellow in my skin tone and it just has a really nice brightening effect. So why are BB cream so popular? Because it's basically like a foundation, concealer, and skincare product in one. So with this particular product, it claims that it lightens skin tone by healing visible wrinkles and blemishes with excellent skin coverability and prevents skin aging through effective whitening and anti-wrinkle properties. So it's saying that it has anti-wrinkle and whitening properties as well as it having like a pretty good coverage. And I would say, compared to a lot of BB creams, this does have a thicker consistency and it has a decent coverage to it, which I really like because it really helps like minimize the appearance of my pores. I tend to have like little red, you know, blotches on my face and it just really reduces the appearance of that really nicely. But my actual skin tone still peeks through and I love that because it looks like I'm not wearing anything at all. A lot of BB creams would be considered like a tinted moisturizer because you get very, very light coverage. But this one, I would almost say it's like a light foundation because it gives more coverage than most BB creams do. This does have a fragrance, it does have a scent to it, which is kind of strange, like some of you may not like it. And if you do have sensitive skin, if you're sensitive to any kinds of like perfumes or fragrances inside of products, then you might want to be careful. Um, I would definitely like just test it on a small part of your face first to just see how your face reacts to it. If you're someone with oily skin like myself, this isn't the greatest for oil control. I would definitely like prep the face first. I usually use a Shiseido SPF, which works really well as a base and helps with oil control. And then I apply this and then I definitely set my face with powder. And then I apply like bronzer or blush or whatever else um, to just bring a little bit of color and life back into my skin. If you're looking for something to really like cover up acne scars, dark hyperpigmentation, um, dark under eye circles, this isn't going to do it. It's it's like more of like a medium coverage. You would definitely need a separate concealer for like your under eyes or acne or like dark hyperpigmentation, for example. The convenience factor of just being able to apply this with my hands, my fingers, and not having to use a brush is a huge plus as like my everyday holy grail product. Some people do apply their BB creams as like their base and then they'll apply their concealer and foundation on top of it, which is fine too. This particular product has an SPF of 42, so that is great. You have your extra um, anti-wrinkle prevention right there. I would say that this has like a matte and dewy consistency at the same time on the skin because it obviously, you know, it doesn't have any shimmer whatsoever. And because it really neutralizes the skin tone, it helps like your face look, you know, a lot more matte, but it still gives your skin a sheen because it is a cream. So I would definitely set it with a powder. I got this one off of Amazon for $21. I thought that I was going to get the 30 milliliter size, but they sent me the 51. I don't know if that was just a fluke or a mistake, I have no idea. It's a good and bad thing though. Good, of course, in that I got more product 
than I thought I would for $21. Bad in that it came, this one came with the pump, which I didn't want. I just wanted the larger squeeze tube, but that's okay, I can live with it. I know that you can get this off of eBay for a lot cheaper, but I decided to just pay a little bit more because I wanted to make sure that I get an authentic one, and I sure do hope that this is an authentic one, but from what I can tell, the color and consistency is the same as my sample one that I used. So I did want to show you how I would apply this. I did have it on half of my face already because I wanted to see how it would wear throughout the day, how it would oxidize, if you know it would cause any parts of my face to rash up. Like I said before, a little does go a long way. So I'm just going to pump a little bit onto my finger. Oh, that's way too much. This this little bit is like way too much, believe it or not. Like I would I would use this much for my entire face, but I'll just use it for the rest of this half of the face so that you can see how I would apply it. I would start by, you know, where I have very enlarged pores, which is right here. And you'll be able to see before and after pictures of how this half of my face looks different from this half um, towards the end of this video. And I would also apply it around my nose area. I just dot it wherever I feel I need it. Normally, I only apply it like on the center portion of my face and right around my mouth and chin because it's very dark there. This is honestly a lot of product. I would not, I normally would not put this much on. And then I would literally just start like really patting and blending it in. And you can apply some underneath the eyes too. It's not going to be enough coverage for most. For me, I prefer using a separate concealer right after because I like to have a lot of brightness underneath my eyes. As you can tell, it does give a slightly dewy finish. So I would definitely set this with a powder if you're like combination or oily. Or even if you're not oily, like I would still set it with a powder. Okay, so that's how it looks. You can tell that my pores are minimized. You can't really see them as much as you were able to before. Okay, so that's how I would apply it. Very simple, very easy.